the fiscal multi multiplier is a macroeconomic concept which measures how uh, changes in government expenditure map into changes in GDP. So for example, if, if a $1 increase in, in government expenditure produces a $1 increase in GDP, we will be talking of a, of a fiscal multiplier of one. If uh, an increase of, of public spending decreases GDP, then we would have a, a fiscal multiplier that is negative. And if on the other hand, we think that an increase of $1 in, in public spending increases the GDP a lot, for example, by, by $2, then the fiscal multiplier will be two. Now, the big question that, that macroeconomists have is how, how large is this fiscal multiplier? And there we don't really know. We don't really know what this, what, what this measure is, how, what, how big the, the fiscal multiplier is. There are some estimates that range from negative numbers to numbers above two. The IMF uses the value of 0.5 for its fiscal multiplier when it makes its forecasts, or it has done so in the past. In recent times, during the recession, the IMF has tried to evaluate whether this, for this, this fiscal multiplier in its forecasts was, was the correct one, and they, they have come to the conclusion that the fiscal multiplier might be bigger during recessions than, than in boom times. In fact, the number they have estimated is around 1.5. So that if government spending increases by, by $1, uh, GDP would also increase by, well, would increase by $1.5. And this also works in reverse. So for example, if, if the government spending is reduced by $1, then GDP would be reduced from its, its value by $1.5. Uh, now, the, the thing to be, said, to be said about fiscal multipliers as well is that it, it's also a very strange concept. And, the fiscal multiplier is strange because it, it presupposes that uh, government spending on different items will all have the same effect when this will probably not, not be like this.